Well, we do have some good news here for the end of the show. If you've been to the grocery store lately, you might have noticed prices have gone down a bit. Joining us now for this week's Bottom Line is Neil Melanson. And Neil, the only reason that I'm allowing you to come back to talk about grocery prices is that you told us we would catch a break. And we have. We have at the grocery store. I don't well, know. I paid $200 to $300 every single week. What are you buying? A lot of sushi, a lot, a lot of steak. No, a lot of, yeah. a lot of surf and turf. Maybe, yeah. maybe the yeah. items have something to do with it. Well, it, it is coming down. It's coming down slowly, but honestly, this drop is coming a bit sooner than I expected, and it looks like prices are going to go that way for the foreseeable future. It's a combination of lower prices for farm commodities and cheaper oil that has finally eroded those record high prices we've seen in recent years. I have the latest American Farm Bureau Market Basket Survey, and this time around, the 16 items surveyed cost $49. $9.70, which is down $4.40 from this time last year. That's a drop of about 8% overall. 13 food items dropped in prices while only three increased. Eggs are our big plunge, down 51% to $1.48 a dozen. That's the market working its magic right there. Other poultry-related related products down significantly as well, with chicken breast at $2.86 per pound, a drop of 16% there. Another meat, sirloin tip roast, down 11% to $5.04 per pound as well. Whole milk is down a whole 10% from last year to $2.84 a gallon. That's a big drop, although the prices are not quite as much here in Louisiana. We've got ground chuck roast down 9% to $4.13 a pound, and everyone's favorite, bacon, down 3% to $4.40 a pound. Now, these are the only three items that went up. Bag salad up to $2.85 a pound. That's 16% increase. Apples up 10% to $1.59 a pound, likely due to the dryness in the Pacific Northwest this year. And finally, potatoes up 3% to $2.73 for a five-pound bag. As I mentioned earlier, the drop in commodity prices overall is what's causing grocery costs to finally come down. A very large piece of this puzzle is the price of cattle. If we look at them over the past two years, you can see that big drop in prices, whether we're talking feeder cattle from states like Louisiana or live cattle going to slaughter. Either way, prices are bottoming, culminating at live prices this year at less than a dollar per hundredweight. Now, they've come up a little bit since that 1st of October low, but the trend overall is down down, something we knew we'd see once the nation's cattle herd began to rebuild. Well, that started two years ago, and it didn't just affect the cattle industry. Poultry, egg, and pork producers all responded to higher prices in the meat industry by producing more. That's why I think these lower prices for food are here to stay. Meat accounts for most of the higher prices at both the grocery store and restaurants. The bottom line is, while this survey is an informal one, it does track with the Consumer Price Index, which is pointing not only to lower prices, but to a lower trend in consumer prices overall. We're going to do this again next month ahead of Thanksgiving, but my bet is that we're going to see similar results overall. And of course, Kristen, you know, the big thing is you got to find those bargains, and that may be why your, your grocery store bill is higher. And especially coming up with Thanksgiving, you got to shop around for that turkey. Well, I will tell you this, I did notice the eggs when I went to get a carton of eggs they had some that were 98 cents and I had Big to do drop. a double take yeah. I said what yeah. this cannot be right well, you know they had all that trouble with eggs mm -hmm. and you know the big chickens and you know that got killed and all that mm -hmm. so they just went into overproduction and now we're the benefit seeing the benefits of that well I'm very happy with your report on grocery prices this time I'll let you come back next thank you Neil Malasa, thank you. Well, that does it for this edition of Twyla. Be sure to join us next week when the first part of Carl Wigger's series on the LSU Ag Center's patents and how they could affect you. Until then, you can watch all of our stories online at twylatv.org and be sure to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. For all of us here at Twyla, thanks for joining us. We hope to see you again right here next week.